Here's what most people don't realize about low carb diets and your metabolism. So when you consume a low carb diet, especially from a men's health perspective, we actually may see changes in someone's testosterone profile and their androgen levels. That's because low carb dieting and energy restriction can increase something called sex hormone binding globulin, which is a binding protein. And so simply adding carbs or increasing calories and energy availability can improve this. Another effect of low carb dieting, if we are calorie restricted for a long period of time, we can see changes in leptin and thyroid health and transient metabolic adaptations that may not be optimal for your long-term goals. So a couple things to consider here is to do low-carb diets or low-calorie diets in a seasonal fashion just for brief periods of time. People who are trying to restore insulin sensitivity, but it's not necessarily the best long-term diet approach, especially if you're someone who's very active, pursuing intense training, endurance athletes, CrossFit athletes, or if you resistance train with high volumes, you need to support your recovery with a balanced calorie profile, ample carbohydrates, and protein intake. Examples of adding carbs if you're in a low carb diet, but you're wanting to keep nutrient density as a priority would be things like fruits, potatoes, single ingredient, whole foods, other options might include rice or other carbs that suit your preferences that still have a lot of vitamins and minerals and potentially fiber depending on your ability to digest them. So those are some of my favorite ways to potentially navigate out of a low carb diet period.